it's not actually our house because we don't have a house. It's actually. Nay nangi. <laughs> To the vlog look the sun kisses me so good and it's really really a great start of the day it's sunny hot morning here in the province and look pops clean this area which has a lot of uh, tall grasses he planned to uh, Send down some of the native chickens he has from the farm away from here and starting to sell it as a uh, what do you call that live chicken and here in, here in the Philippines native chicken is really really delicious I do hope it will be successful it will be really that sellable since native chicken is really rare nowadays and it's only available in provinces so look at this sunshine you are my sunshine my only sunshine sorry for my voice but I really love this moment this sunshine after my stressful Friday because we went to the wet market yesterday and then went to Ukai Ukai and got home here late in the morning it was past 11 o'clock and I haven't got the chance to work early afternoon is the worst time to work here in the province since there I think there's a lot of kids playing in the internet cafe which made the internet traffic even worse I'm continuing my work early this morning and later this afternoon it's Janelle's birthday it's my niece's birthday one of my niece's birthday and we'll see what will happen what up what up we're here at the old wharf here in Samal I used to jump and swim to this area here yes I'm just a cool kid up until now we just we, we, we don't choose any locations beaches it causes us so much we just jump onto this area and then kaboom that's yeah that's that's how we enjoy our childhood and I miss those days I really love this sunset moment oh my god even it's so hot but look you can even really, but you can still really see the sunset in here. yes look even if a sunset is just an ordinary moment but when I see sunset like this in the shore and especially like here in Samal in this area here I remember everything every moment of my childhood which is I really miss so much but look at me now I'm so not nah, nah, I'm not really that old but I just really miss those days. Yeah, right, Yeti? Yeah. We're both in black. Lola don't like black. Look, it, I'm pretty dangerous. This is the only uh, an easy way. way there. This is the only way we can get past through this because there's a lot of bamboo there stopped. Well, you just... And we just wanted to go into that area. And I actually told my cousin if I fall there and I. I wet my camera, I will die. Oh, hey. Eh? <laughs> Look at this area. Ooh Peaceful, yet yeah, there's tons of memories here. Jesus Christ. Yep, yep, yep. You go jump in, Yenny. <laughs> I bet this will float. Yeah. Your 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 I know uh, infl uh inflatables. Look, God is there. Oh my God! Let's zoom more. Wow. 
Ah, okay, that's the most zoom. That's the last zoom I can give you. But wow, sunset is really fascinating. Thank God on this beautiful moment. So guys, if you missed your childhood days, comment down below what are those moments that you really missed so much. Like, even if up until now, 10 years, 50 years, how many years passed, tell a brief story about it. Comment down below. And I would really love to read it for you. And maybe next time, I'll feature it also onto my vlog. What I missed. And my childhood, if you can see that house there, I will zoom it closely. Ah, zoom, 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 zoom. That was our old house. That one. That was it. It's not actually our house because we don't have a house. It's actually. <laughs> Whoops! Sorry for that. But that was our ho old house. It was. <sighs> zoom out, zoom out, zoom out, zoom out, zoom out, zoom out. And January, that time was really, really, really small. Like a small one tenth of me. <laughs> small, as big as this, but small at age. <laughs> he was since young. He was really big as this, but he at that time he was really young as three years old, four, I guess. Young. I forgot, but it, he was really young since the last time we lived into that house. And look, he's still eating. I didn't eat. <laughs> You want some? Yeah, sure. No, wait. Just buy it for yourself. What the f ha! You're so mean. I'll get back on you. Alright, enough for that photo shoot here. And thank you, John Ray, for your um, time with me. He has these cool skills for photography. He's, he's really easy to, to be taught. And I really like his... Uh, Oh my god! That I really like how I uh, teach him, and he will he really get that easily. And he he actually has his own um, taste, so I didn't expect he will um, he will uh, get me pictures that really really uh, cool. Hey yo! Just got from the church and I brought fresh from the oven bread. We call it pandisel and everyone likes it, especially when it's really fresh from the oven. Still hot and it really smells so good. I actually don't like breads to tell you honestly. But I just miss sometimes buying hot breads that anyone everyone likes. And I can just eat a piece of this bread after I bought 30 pieces of this. <laughs> anyway, it's for everyone. Why it's so silent? Pop's not here. He's on the farm. And I'm starving. Angel, Angel isn't here with my aunt and uncle because they went to her father's province because I think it's his sister sister's birthday I guess I don't know if it's his sister but yeah they went there to attend a birthday Angel wanted me to be with them because they um, came here yesterday but i wasn't here i was vlogging at the old port with jen ray and even if i was here but i can't able to be with them because 
I'm about to go home today to Davao. Tomorrow's work. Back to that's we will go back to reality. We'll go back to the city and hopefully change the lifestyle that stresses me. It really burnt me out. I'm telling the story all over again. But yeah. I am not a morning person but in here I wake up super early like 6 37 I never wake up that early even if with an alarm anyway Lola wake up really really early for a morning prayer that wakes me up just a little sketchy sound it really wakes me up but anyhow it's actually a healthy thing because I would work early because later in the afternoon the internet will start to get slow and it's getting worse when it uh, reaches at night so here I can't work at night which is really really awesome I, I have time to some other things I have time to watch TV I have time to my grandma and I have time to my cousins January always come here every night since I since he knew I stayed here for a week it's actually more than a week so uh, I was I was initially planning to stay here for two weeks but um, there are tons of works to do I need a strong internet connection I can have internet connection here but it's it costs me so much I already paid for my last bill on my internet connection in Davao City and I bought another here in just eight days I spent 500 bucks for my uh, mobile data load for me to be able to have a internet connection anyhow stay here really give me such a good relief it relieved me up until now I would say that I was happy those frustrations those problems I been from the for the past weeks or month or months because I started to get frustrated when I get sick again last December up until January because there's tons of uh, stuff happened and I was you know adult stuff paying bills huh. anything there's there are tons of bills I paid <sighs> anyway that's that's a personal thing and it, it really happened but dang adulthood sucks yes I'm an adult I'm I'm at the age of being an adult but no I'm not yet in my 30s I'm on my late 20s to tell you so um yep spending my last day here I do hope Lola will be home early before I leave so I can thank her for letting me stay here and, yeah. and of course say goodbye personally which I really enjoyed staying here and it was really really a good really ah so I've come to realize that for some time in your life give yourself a break in any way like if you want unlimited sleep if, if that's your forte or travel or visiting parents visiting relatives going to the beach because although we work hard for money for survival for whatever of course it's not money it's not really money turns the world round but you can't you can't buy your own food you can't pay your rent if you don't have one so yeah we need money if we work even if we work hard for it you still give yourself a break because our money our salary can pay 
our life because when we get sick we suffer from our illness and also our pocket suffers right so um, always always prioritize health i've come to realize to work from eight to five but in the city i woke up at eight yes so i started to work at 9 9 30 because before i work of course i need to take my breakfast and shower what i just didn't do here is to exercise i i actually have i actually did exercise once but throughout the week <laughs> i haven't got the chance to do exercise again because i'm i'm really working my ass for my work because my internet connection internet connection here sucks i'm just depending on my mobile data which i connected to my laptop and it really sucks oh my god but here we are i was but here we are i'm here someone told me you have no choice because i'm here i choose to be here i choose to stay here so it's me should adjust <laughs> anyway let's take breakfast and i'll start to pack my things anyway i still have an hour of work today and then pack my things i started to fold my clothes but i haven't packed it yet on my bag yeah so breakfast first and then work then pack yeah I should organize my things so I can manage my time. That's the secret. Plan things so you can manage time. I am really time conscious. When you say we meet this time, I am as maybe 15 to 10 minutes early from the time that we talk about. It really sucks me that those people who I should meet are were late because it wastes my time i would say i am also late especially on church i'm late again today because i was so lazy taking a bath because it was so cold early today i woke up at 5 30 and the mass will start at 6 30. i came to the church quarter to seven <laughs> it was really really cold and I really don't like cold uh, shower cold water is actually healthy but it depends um, it I, I, I don't most of the time like cold shower anyway even it was cold I tried my best to uh, take a shower because I don't want to leave here without taking a shower or I don't want to go to church without taking a shower because for me um, as discipline how I was raised mm, you should something like be casual be clean that's how I was raised so, <laughs> I probably stopped talking so I can take my breakfast oh it's windy outside ah oh, feeling the breeze Woo! my last day for this moment here ah sunny and windy this is so awesome i will really miss this maybe i'll get back here after two three weeks but i'll be back here on weekend because i can't bring my whole work here internet stresses me here oh thank you lord so work is done breakfast is done also the lunch the last thing I should do is pack my things and take a little nap while waiting my, for my grandma. So I guess I'm gonna end my video here. Thank you for watching guys. I don't know if you're all entertained but for me I felt like this couple of videos that i brought to you is up with like i feel happy i'm genuinely happy it's it's hard to fake happiness i'm not a fake person so 
yeah and my week stay here or more than a week stay is really really worthy always give yourself a break so that's a lesson learned <sighs> guess I'm gonna end my video here make sure to subscribe to my youtube channel at nudge lewis and follow me into my social channel on facebook instagram and twitter at nudge 15 and i guess i'm gonna get back into my snapchat i haven't posted any on snapchat yet because I, I actually not really into super super selfie thing with filters i actually didn't um deactivated I'm just not using it although I have an account so also please add me on your snapchat at notch15 and I'll see you guys next week